Where do you want to go back? Her laugh, <laughs> irresistible. Hey, so sister. Her singing, infectious. That's disgusting. I just... Her energy, non-stop. <laughs> All day, every day. Once I get her awake, you know, waking her up in the morning is a little struggle, but once she's awake, she's on it. And when she watches the slideshow of her time at Victory Junction, when she's looking at the video, I see her eyes lighting up and it's like she's remembering the things that happened in the video and then she's excited to see all her friends and the things that they did. And then she goes off into a little side story about <laughs> something that they did while they were there. So yeah, we watch the video from time to time so she can remember what she did and it's almost like she's back there again. Natalie! Yes, Natalie. Alright! Trinity Barnett of Charlotte is like a lot of children with special needs and challenges. There aren't places for them to safely play like every other child except Victory Junction. Trinity had never spent the night away from home unless it was with family. So going an hour, hour and a half away without her mom, I was very nervous. The pictures prove that Trinity fit in like every other child, made friends, and flourished. The camp made me realize that I don't think I give her enough opportunity to try different things because she tried a whole lot of things that I would be afraid to put her like on a horse and let her ride. But she tried them and I think that sometimes we do, especially as parents of kids with special needs, we limit what they possibly can do because we're afraid and they're not. So I think it's a great opportunity for her to try different things and see how she likes it and how well she does with different activities. It's amazing. I, I did everything and I had so much fun and I didn't let her come back home. She had an absolute ball. She greeted me with a hug and she talked the whole way home about how much fun she had at Victory Junction. So she had a blast. For the Nolan family, Victory Junction is about breakthroughs. Both of their sons, Michael and Alex, have hemophilia, a disorder requiring regular infusions. It's a big deal because if they don't submit to the infusion, they're gonna continue bleeding and there's, there's nothing's gonna stop it. And there you are trying to say, you have to have this, you have to have, you got to be still. And um, getting an IV into a vein of a kid that's four, five, six years old is it's a pretty hard thing to do. For hemophiliacs, self-infusing is independence. And they found that at camp. I remember going in and um, there were other hemophiliacs there that were a little bit older than me, I think, um, that were self-infusing. And um, I got to know them over the, over the course of time, over the summer, and being able to know that they could do it, you know, I wanted to do it. And my older brother could do it, so I wanted to be like, kind of like him and do it myself. So when I was at the camp, I had my first infusion by myself. At Victory Junction, they did learn how to self-infuse, which took that off of us. And um, so they treat themselves now every other day. For Michael, he's now on a longer acting medication where since he's playing soccer, he does treat three times a week, but normally only twice a week. So that has taken a, lo a load off of, you know, having to manage it. You don't really have to rely on anybody now and you're like, I can do this. This is, this is like me now. And my, my disorder isn't, you know, taking over me, I'm taking over my disorder. So it makes sense that the boys and Sister Brandy, who attended a family camp weekend, focus on one thing. I feel like the people there are the most important part. I feel like the counselors there, um, almost donating their time there to, to take care of the, the cabin mates and, and, and establish a relationship with everyone is the most important part and feeling the love around you. Good job! The people are just nicer and happier and everyone's like always there for you all the time. Camp's great, the place is great, but the people are better. They're like 10 times better. I remember every council I've ever had. I can't forget them. In fact, Alex has come full circle. This camper is now a counselor, and he will be back to mentor younger kids again this summer. And for Trinity? I wanna go back really, 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 really. 
I would tell people to support Victory Junction because it's a great opportunity for kids um, who have special needs to go away to a camp. If anyone could look at the DVDs of the kids and their faces and the happiness that they're experiencing while they're there, it's just absolutely priceless. And it makes you want to sing. Let it go, let it go. Can't hold it back anymore. Let it go, let it go. My back is in the door. I don't care what they are going to say. Let it go, let it go. The cold never bothered me anyway. Oh! oh. <laughs> You're gonna take Elsa's job. Yeah.